Welcome back to Trigger Point Tuesdays, but it's Wednesday. So it's Kyle here. I'm here with Amanda. She's Cassidy's executive assistant, and Cassidy's traveling today, so he's headed to Germany, right? He is. Germany for FIBO. So we're here today to talk about the Grid Mini. It comes out on April 12th. It's available at tptherapy backslash tptherapy.com backslash grid mini. I want to show you the versatility of this that, that, we're, that we're talking about. I know a lot of people are still using the softball, which, hey, it's a softball. It's made for hitting. It's not made for soft tissue work. So I want to show you that this here can be used very similar, but it's much safer, so a much better, much better alternative. Still made with our denso density, so you're still going to get some of those same great effects that we get with the grid 1.0. So we're going to start off with Amanda here, and we're going to get into the quad. So go ahead and come face down onto it. We're going to position it kind of high on the quad for today. Notice she's in the, the nice prone position and rolling very similar. So here we're going to work through an area. Be sure we're breathing, keeping all that, all the blood and oxygen flowing into the area for that tissue mobility. Now what we're going to do is let's go ahead and set the knee right here on the ground and we're going to get some internal rotation of this hip. So notice how the grid midi fits right in there. We're going to pin those tissues down introduce some internal rotation. Now we had talked about this in the past in one of our Trigger Point Tuesday videos, how we need that internal rotation for hip flexion. So now what I want you to do is let's get the toe down here and we're going to do a scrubbing action. Perfect. So pinning the tissue down there or working through those fascial planes and different planes of motion just to get more tissue mobility. Very nice. Now what we're going to do is, again, showing the versatility, we're going to rotate that grid mini 90 degrees. Now we're going to get a whole new dynamic. So here, we're going to roll side to side. So still getting that same great cross friction, but just notice the way the grid mini rolls through there. Different amount of blood flow will come into that area, so a different result for that tissue. Now again, we're going to go ahead and pin the knee down here, and notice how the grid mini fits right in there. Internal rotation again. Perfect. Big smile on our face, right? <laughs> And now, let's go ahead and set the toe back down. We're going to lift the knee, and here we're just going to go up and down. So notice, grid mini doesn't move. So again, different dynamic on those fascial planes. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and reposition to the IT band. So we're going to take the grid mini back to its original position here. We're going to hike that hip up just a bit. And here, just go back to that regular rolling. So back and forth, nice and controlled, being sure we're breathing. Go ahead and bring that left hip up just a little bit more. Perfect. Now we're going to go ahead and pin this down again. Same thing, a little bit different area, rolling right through here, increasing hip mobility. Let's go ahead and pin the toe down, go through that scrubbing motion. Perfect. But now here's the cool one. This is my most favorite. We're going to go ahead and rotate this again 90 degrees. We're going to put it right in here, and now we're going to get that side to side motion. So let's keep the knee up, side to side. So what we're going to do right here is push right through that vastus lateralis. In through that TFL, you get a great effect on the TFL through here, into that IT band. Now go ahead and pin the knee down yet again, and notice here, that angle is going to really help mobilize those tissues through that area. Perfect. Go ahead and set the knee down. Let's do that up and, up and down. Perfect. One, two, great. So there's a little bit right there for the hip. Now we're going to go right into the lat. So let's go ahead and remove the pressure here. Let's go into your left side for camera purposes. So notice here, she's going to position right on the lat. We're going to go into a nice beach pose, so let's bring that left arm up. There we go. Now take your hand and sort of grip the, the grid mini. Perfect. Now here, we're going to get us some flexion and extension through this area. So what you're going to do is just re reach the elbow up and down. The grid mini will roll just a bit, but it should be very slight roll here. And now we're going to add in a little bit of cross friction, so we're going back and forth yet again. Perfect. But again, here's the cool part. Now let's take and rotate that grid mini 90 degrees. Perfect. Now again, a whole new dynamic. We're going through the same program. The elbow up and down. We're going to go through this. Usually go through it about four times. And now let's go cross friction here. So again, notice now how that grid mini is rolling the other direction. So bringing a lot of blood to the area. The blood's going to bring the oxygen and the nutrients and promote that healing. Perfect. Now we're going to go ahead and hop up. We're going to show you one more onto the pec. So we're going to use the rack here. If you're at home, you can use a wall. It's going to give us a little bit good. It's going to give us that stability. Notice here how she grips the grid mini. Notice where that ball is positioned there on the pec. And now we're just going to introduce in a little bit of motion. 
So here we can roll up and down, working through pec minor, pec major. But again, with this versatility here, we're going to take and rotate this about 45 degrees. Now we're going to work directly perpendicular to the fibers of that pec minor. Remember that cross friction is what's going to really introduce that mobility. Here we can pin it down, add in some distal limb motion. So bring your arm here, slowly reach all the way up above your head. Perfect. One more. Very good. And I'll go ahead and grab the grid mini from you. Very nicely done. So that's a little bit about the grid mini there. How do you feel? Feel great. Feels great. That's perfect. It's great for traveling. I'm sure Cassie has one on his bag right now. Definitely does. So again, it's a grid mini. It comes out April the 12th, which is Friday. Check it out online. We have a how-to page. We have a great introductory video. And anything you want to add? Hey, just keep rolling out there, guys. Remember, it's travel friendly, so bring it with you wherever you want. Perfect. And we'll see you next Tuesday on Tuesday for Trigger Point Tuesday. Thank you.